Welcome to the first of what I hope to become a series of player deep dives. Kicking it off, I want to talk about a guy who is hot in the streets of baseball, a name that has probably appeared in many fan mock traits on social media recently, the righty from the Oakland A's, as of now, Frankie Montas. Who is this guy and how good is he? Where did he come from? Is he a future Yankee? Welcome to the Frankie Montas Deep Dive. At the time of this recording, Montas is still in Oakland A, but by the time you're watching this, he may be a New York Yankee, or a Blue Jay, a Minnesota Twin, a Dodger, or any of the other 25 teams for that matter that may surprise us and trade for the talented hurler. The now 29-year-old righty, a big boy, coming in at 6 foot 2 and 255 pounds, was signed out of Dominican Republic as an amateur free agent by the Boston Red Sox in December of 2009 at the age of 16. After spending four seasons in the Red Sox organization, he was traded to the Chicago White Sox as part of a blockbuster three-team trade in 2013. If you're a baseball nerd like me or Ollie, you may remember this trade as the Jake Peavy trade. Montas would make his debut with the White Sox in 2015 as a 22-year-old, however he would only stay in Chicago for two years before being involved in yet another three-team deal, this time sending him to the Los Angeles Dodgers in December of 2015. Montas dealt with some injuries in this time and never made it back on a big league mound as a Dodger before finally being sent to the Oakland A's at the 2016 trade deadline. He would come up in the second half of the 2017 season as a reliever before moving over to the rotation in 2018. He broke out in a big way in 2019, making 16 starts going 9-2 with a 2.63 ERA and striking out 103 batters over 96 innings of work. His coming out party would be cut short, however, due to an 80-game suspension testing positive for a performance-enhancing substance called Osterine. I know you didn't know that, Isaac. You learn something new every day. After struggling in the COVID-shortened 2020 season, Montas found himself having a second breakout season, this time for good in the 2021 season. Montas solidified himself as the ace of the 86-win A's team, going 13-9 with a 3-3-7 ERA, striking out 209 batters, over 187 innings across his 32 starts, accumulating 3.6 wins above replacement, which ranked him 11th in the American League. Alright, enough about the past, how is he doing this year? Well, Frankie is back at it, putting up almost identical numbers as last year. So far in 2022, he's made 19 starts going 4-9 with a 3-1-8 ERA. Looking further into his numbers and comparing them to 2021, he is striking out batters at a 9.4 per 9 clip, a tick down from 10 per 9 last year, but walking only 2.4 batters per 9 innings, which is down from 2.7 per 9 in 2021. His ERA+, plus, which for those who aren't familiar, Isaac, adjusts a player's ERA by taking ballparks and opponents faced into account and normalizes it across the entire league. This year sits at 117 ERA+, plus, or 17% above league average, compared to 121 from last year, and is also pitching to a 3.36 FIP, or fielding independent pitching, which is a stat that measures a pitcher's effectiveness by only accounting for what the pitcher has control over, like strikeouts, walks, home runs allowed, and hit batters, is nearly identical to his 3.37 FIP from last year. So what makes Frankie Montas so effective? Montas features a solid five-pitch mix that includes a four-seam fastball, a split finger, a sinker, a slider, and a cutter. Besides his cutter, which he incorporated into his pitch repertoire last year, he uses his four other pitches pretty evenly across the board. His four-seam fastball comes in at an average velocity of 96.2 miles per hour, which he throws 27.1% of the time. He ranks in the 72 percentile for fastball velocity and 71 percentile for fastball spin and has held batters to a 229 expected batting average and 398 expected slugging. Pretty decent pitch for him. Moving on to his second most used pitch, which is his signature put away pitch, the splitter. He uses this pitch 26 percent of the time, more notably against lefties and two strike counts, and comes in at an average of velocity of 86.4 miles per hour. He has held opponents to an incredible 181 expected batting average and 277 expected slugging while getting whiffs on this pitch 32.9% of the time he throws it. Along with all the swings and misses, he induces a ton of ground balls with the splitter with the average launch angle of batted balls against sitting just at 5 degrees. Now moving on to his sinker, which he has only thrown 22% of the time this season compared to 55% usage in 2018, has been an interesting pitch to say the least. He has slowly reduced the usage rate of the sinker in recent years, steadily declining from the 55% rate in 2018. 
by far his most used pitch that year, all the way down to 22%, which makes it only his third most used pitch, and it might be for good reason. After allowing a 311 batting average and a 471 slugging against the sinker last year, this pitch has been hit even harder in 2022, allowing a 316 batting average against and a 510 slugging. What does that mean? That means that every time he throws the sinker to any batter across the league, they turn into 2022 Rafael Devers. So not good. He does, however, still get a good amount of ground balls on this pitch, but we could probably expect the sinker to continue to fade out from his pitch mix as his high-spinning four-seamer has taken over as more than reliable weapon as a replacement. His fourth used pitch, the slider, has been his go-to put-away pitch against righties in 2022. Throwing it 15.6% of the time at 87 miles per hour average velocity, he has put up the highest whiff percentage of any pitch he throws at 38.6%. Batters also seem to have the hardest time squaring Montes' slider up with an average exit velocity of a mere 84.9 miles per hour, lowest of any of his pitches. And lastly, his cutter. He first started throwing this pitch with regularity last year where he threw it 6.2% of the time, but it's hard to say he found immediate success with it. He allowed a 300 batting average against and resulted in an expecting slugging of 438. So not quite Rafael Devers, but more like JD Martinez against this cutter last year. Not quite sure what he did to this pitch during the offseason, but he has improved the cutter tremendously in 2022. He now throws it 9.2% of the time opponents are hitting 095 with an 095 slugging. He has allowed just two hits, two singles for that matter, and 24 plate appearances. Batters are looking more like Kyle Higashioka than JD Martinez now against this cutter. Okay, now let's address the elephant in the room. Will Frankie Montas get traded this deadline? You can skip this part if you're watching this video moments before he's about to make his Yankee debut in the Bronx. In my opinion, yes, he will 100% be moved this deadline and the A's would be stupid not to. With Luis Castillo off the board going to the Mariners in a trade between the Reds, Montas was a lot of teams' plan B, and the A's can expect a ton of interest from teams that missed out on Castillo. Known teams in on Montas at the moment include our Yanks, but also Jays, Twins, Dodgers, Cardinals, Astros, and maybe even the Rangers who were in on Castillo. The prospect price tag will only be rising with more and more teams getting desperate to make a splash at this year's deadline three days away. Not to mention, Montas is another year of control following the season before he becomes a free agent in the winter of 2023. Only time will tell what team ends up with my guy Frankie, but I am damn sure hoping he's pitching in pinstripes come August 3rd. Hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive of Frankie Montas, and make sure to let me know in the comments who you would like me to do a deep dive on next.